Zarina. I, I want to teach you now mathematics. So in mathematics, I want to start a model question paper which is issued by uh, state, state board. So model question paper. In this, I want to solve some problems which is repeated in a, some model questions. So first question. A fraction becomes 8 by 11 if 3 is added Plus into minus minus 33 minus 24 
if it becomes 9. Plus 9 is equal to y means here bigger number is 33. Sign is plus. So I have written plus 9. So this is the equation number 1. This is the equation number 1. Now, now we have to go second question. So now see the second question. Numerator and the denominator. If 3 is subtracted from the numerator and the denominator, it becomes 2 by 5. Same for the fraction, same we have to do subtraction. First we have the addition. Now we have to do subtraction. According to question, x minus 3 divided by y minus 3 is equal to it becomes 2 by 5. So first method, how we have done equation number 1. Same method we have to apply here also. That is cross multiply. Is equal to 5 into x minus 3 is equal to 2 into y minus 3. So how we have done first method? We have to apply same. We have to remove the brackets by multiplying this one. 5 into x, 5 is. Minus 5 3 is a 15. Is equal to 2 into 1, 2 1. Minus 2 3 is a 6. So again we have to bring all these terms in one side. Is equal to 5x minus 15. Here plus 2y is there. By bringing here it will become minus 2y. Here minus 6 is there. By bringing here it will become plus 6. Is equal to 0. Now x term y terms you have to write one side. 5x minus 2y. Now again we have to apply that will minus into plus minus. So we have to do minus. 15 minus 6 it will become 9. But here minus 9 it will come because bigger number is 15, sign is minus, so we have to write minus 9. This is also, this is the equation number 2. Now we came equation number 1 and equation number 2. We have to apply now elimination method because two equation cases we have to apply elimination method. So now elimination method. For, for equation 1 and 2. So equation 1 is we got 11x minus 8y less 9 is equal to 0. And second equation we got 5x minus 2y minus 9 is equal to 0. These are the two equations 1 and 2. Now we have to apply the elimination method. To do elimination method, one term should be same to cancel one term. Here x value is different and here y also different. Here 11x is there and here 5x. So what we have to do means to become same, we have to apply first equation into 5 and second equation into 11. Now you multiply whole term with 5. What, we, what it becomes? 5 11s are 55x. Minus 5x are 40y plus 5 9s are 45 is equal to 0. Now, same method you apply to the second. 11 into 5, 55x minus 11 2s are 22y minus 11 9s are 99 is equal to 0. Now, now x term becomes the same. Now, we can cancel this terms. To cancel, first we have to see the downside of signs. Here plus is there. If plus is there means down we have to give opposite sign. Plus is there means minus. To cancel both the terms. Here minus is there. We have to put plus. Here also minus is there. We have to put plus. Now see the, it becomes a cancel because one term is plus and another term is minus. So cancel this term. So now see the plus into minus, minus. So 40 minus 22 we have to do. 40 minus 22 it will becomes 18. Minus 18. Why it is because 40 is the bigger number. Sign is minus. So next term also you have to apply sign. Plus into plus, plus. 45 plus 99 you have to do. Here sign should be plus. Why means? Because here bigger number. Bigger number is 99. Sign is plus. So 9 plus 5, 14. 9 plus 1, 10 plus 4, 14. Is equal to it becomes y term. Now from this equation, we will come the y term. So what it becomes? 18y plus 144 is equal to 0. Now from this, we can, we can, 
make sure y value will come. So minus 18y, this is the constant term is that you send it there. Minus 144 will come. Now minus minus get cancelled, it becomes plus. So now remaining is 18y is equal to 144. Now here multiplication is there. By sending there, it will become division. y is equal to 144 by 18. So 18 months are 18. 18. Therefore, y became 8. Now from this two, from this elimination method, we got y value. Y value after coming y value, easily we can find the x value by substituting y value in equation 1 or equation 2. As you know that this is the equation 1 and this is the equation 2. Here we can have f substitute y value. Now students, we can substitute y value which is your wish. You can substitute in equation 1 or equation 2. What, which one you read is easy, you can solve in there. So substitute. Y is equal to 8 in equation and 2. You can substitute in equation 1 also. It is left to 0. So what is the equation 2? 5x minus 2y minus 9 is equal to 0. Now where y is there, no? Substitute 8 value. So 5x we don't know. Keep like that. 2. Y we got to 8. So substitute here 8. Minus 9 is equal to 0. By following this, you will get the x value. 5x is equal to 2x of 16 minus 9 is equal to 0. Now, you have to apply that one. Minus into minus plus. So, 5x minus into minus plus equal to 16 plus 9 minus 25. Why minus 25 is because we have to see which is bigger number here. 16 is the bigger number. Sign is minus. You have to be minus. Is equal to 0. Now we want x value. So this is the constant term. You, you uh, send to that side. 5x is equal to minus 25. Whenever you will send to that side, it will become plus. So minus 25 will become plus 25. Now from this, we will get the x value. x is 25. Here multiplication is there. By sending that, it will become division. Because that is the rule. Whenever it will be plus, it will become minus. Minus, it will become plus. Multiplication, it will become division. Division, it will become multiplication. So, 5 ones are 5, 5 ones. So, therefore, x value is 5. So, now we got the fraction. So, already we have done fraction means x by, x by 1. Here, x is 5 value, y is 8 value. So, x is 5. Y is mean. These are the fractions. Fractions, they said to find fraction x by y. So x is what? 5. Y is So this is our solution for the question. But every time in it, because here teacher will be there, you know it. But at exam examination hall, you have to verify yourself. Because what answer you got, it is correct or not, you have to verify yourself. How means I will show you. Very good. So, this is the verification how to solve. So, we got, we got from the first question, x plus y, x plus 3 divided by y plus 3 is equal to 8 by 11. We already done this. Now, we, we got the x value and y value. Substitute here. x value is 5 plus 3. y value is 8 plus 3. This is 8 by 11. By solving this, LHS should be RHS. If it comes means then your verification is correct. 5 plus 3 is 8. 8 plus 3 is 11. 8 by 11. So this is our verification. So I would like to tell students that in the examination of every student should do verification. Because here teacher will explain you and show you how to solve it. But in examination, you will be confused. This is the x value or this is the y value. You will be confusion. Confusion will be arise. To solve that one, we have to do verify. If you verify, then your answer will be 100% right. So, this is the fractions. We got this. So, these are the model question paper. I have solved one. So, we have completed one question in this video. If you want to see another question paper, then you want to see the next video. Subscribe this extreme channel. Thank you.